Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Grumman Pilots YouTube channel. And today we're going to talk about a tail repair that is done via Critical Service Bulletin 192. This came out from Tiger Aircraft in 2009. I was fortunate enough to learn about this repair from Bob Stewart, but go ahead and stay tuned as we tell you about a repair that we're doing in New Jersey, and it's all being done now, but we're going to take you through the steps and show you all the fun we had, so stay tuned for all of that. So we would like to ask you, please subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the notify to stay current with our content. So to whet your appetite a bit, these are some close-ups of, of the photos that were in Service Bulletin 192 showing the rear bulkheads and all after you take off the vertical. And then here's one of the damaged supports. And we'll be showing you the part numbers. There are two of these supports, one on the left, one on the right. And then here you can see the support. Here's the one on the right. And then the other one will be on the left. Now these have a part number and they are called a support. So it's a 5102296-15. And again, there are two of them and they're called a support. The bottom is called a stiffener and it has a very similar part number. Now you can see the supports, they have the blind captures for the two horizontals that go on either side of the tail. And then we're just showing a close up of all the structure that's in the tail, the round mount for the flex bolt as well as where everything goes and mounts together and then here you can see some of the delamination from the impact on this particular aircraft that caused some problems caused the uh, support to deform the the bottom to deform the sides to deform a little bit but mainly we're not talking about an accident we're talking about because of serve built in 192 people are moving the aircraft by just grabbing the tail and that puts a long lever arm on that support and we can cause it to laminate or deform now it references service bulletin i'm sorry service kit 125 this is back from the old days of the grumman factory and within the service kit they talk about safety they talk about the sealants they talk about a lot of prep work then they do a lot of minor bond line delamination. Then they talk about major bond line delamination. Now, all of this is not going to be critical to what you're doing in the tail, but it does tell you everything you might ever need to know. They even cover the U-channel that goes on the end of the control surfaces for those that are having delamination from some of the aircraft that don't have the U-channel on the end of the flaps or the aileron. They're also very careful about how to handle the uh, control surfaces. And then they even call out the honeycomb ribs that are used in to make the control surfaces. So all of that can be applied in this um, service kit that comes with your, um, that supports 192. Now, if you don't have a control surface, well, then you're going to be looking at where the location of the holes go, and they're going to be spacings, they're going to be patterns and loading. They're also going to call out when you're working near the spar because you don't want to nick into the spar. So, you, you know, they call all that out for you. Then they move on. I like to say that the diagrams and the um, instruction are very nice they cover all the aileron work where to put the solid rivets where the pop rivets can go the spacing they have to go you know it is 14 pages of information it does take a bit of a while to read and it falls down again into some basic categories but you know sealant and spacing patterns for control surface non-control surface work and let me say also that these this diagram from back in the day has really good diagrams and pictures so it's very easy to see what's going on and what you have to do so now let's move on back to working actually on the tail repair now as you might see the first thing you have to do is clean everything and they call out the acetone and everything you have to do and as you can see here we have removed the support from that side we've also removed the support from the other side and we've removed the stiffener from the bottom now the nice thing about the parts when you buy these from Fletch Air is that they come with all the joggles built into them for registration. So it's very easy to see where they go back into and then you can be able to do your matched um, rivet pattern and then you can go ahead and apply the sealant, uh, the, the high sol or the um, 
high adhesion, whichever one you want to use. And then once you have them in place, all the rivets go in wet. And here you can see the stiffener that had, I mean, sorry, the support that had come out after the repair and it was all bent up. So before, now here are the ones all kind of laying in about the place where they're going to go just to kind of give you a feel for it. Uh, we don't have any pictures of the actual finished repair, but we hope you found all this service bulletin 192 tail repair use, uh, information useful and informative. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day flying your Grumman. <coughs> and we thought we'd share our little MGM lion with you. Perfect. So we hope you enjoyed all of this. Thanks for watching.